I admit it, I still watch cartoons. More specifically, I still watch Adventure Time. I love the brotastic adventures of Finn and Jake, and I love the land of Ooh, but I also love how dark the cartoon can be. I mean, the entire show starts off with a nuclear war, but how bad would that war have to be to wipe Earth of humanity? Let's lay out some constraints first. We aren't looking for something powerful enough to destroy planet Earth. We're looking for something in the range of just wiping out humanity and most of our buildings. What might bring about the land of Ooh is a nuclear winter. The fear of a so-called nuclear winter didn't become mainstream until around 1983, when a team of scientists, which included the late great Carl Sagan, ran climate models based on huge amounts of smoke entering our atmosphere. A nuclear winter doesn't have much to do with the nuclear blasts themselves, but with the firestorms created afterwards. Firestorms are fires that are so hot and energetic that they start pulling in air around them to fuel themselves with hurricane force winds. Now, if an all out nuclear war occurred targeting our major cities, then it is possible that enough smoke would enter our atmosphere from the firestorms created that it would choke off sunlight and cool our planet. But how many bombs would that be? Well, that's hard to say. Since the initial reports were made, a lot of scientists have been critical of the models that were used, but the typical number that you would hear is 100 to 150 nukes exploded over our major cities. But would even this exchange destroy humanity and leave it for Finn and Jake to explore? Well, probably not. Even though an all-out nuclear exchange would kill millions of people, it's pretty unlikely that it would change the climate enough to turn the Earth into the Ice Kingdom. That's because the estimates for how much smoke would pour into the atmosphere vary so widely. All in all, a full-on nuclear war would probably cause more of a, quote, nuclear autumn than some kind of extinction event like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. So what would it take to wipe out everything in a mushroom war? I want my candy kingdom. Humans aren't very good radiation sponges. High energy particles smash through our cells and knock atoms around until we get cancer or organ failure. But there's good news. Even if all of the world's nuclear warheads were detonated strategically around the globe, there wouldn't be enough fallout to give a fatal dose of radiation to all humans, thank Glob. According to some sources, we would need on the order of 100 thousand megatons worth of nuclear weapons to make this doomsday happen. And the world's stockpile of nuclear weapons, which has been declining since the end of the Cold War, isn't close to this doomsday. If we wanted the land of Ooh to spring up after a nuclear exchange, humanity would have to try to actively wipe itself off the map. As arsenals decline, the threat of a nuclear winter just isn't what it once was. In reality, what we should be really worried about is having to move underneath the ocean as climate keeps changing. At least that cartoon sounds just as fun. Why? Because science. Want more science? Check out my last video on how Chappie might have real consciousness. Make sure to click to subscribe to Nerdist for more videos. And if you have any comments or questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Thanks.